Hey everyone, Erica here, and I just wanted to kind of hop on with some um, really, really profound guidance that, like, I'm, I'm, st I'm kind of like emotional about it right now, um, and. You guys know when you're on the twin flame journey, it is like, I'm feeling this, like this, this immense pain of like, just the pain in your soul from longing for what you want and what you desire so much and feeling it ripped from your body feeling this this pain and this trauma energy it truly truly is so embedded into your cells into your dna that like you can't even just not be you know it, it's you can't just say oh this doesn't exist like hi i'm walking around and i'm completely shattered right and then once you go through that phase where you're just like, I don't know, personally for me, like I went through months where I was just crying my eyes out because I couldn't understand why I had to love someone so much that like won't even talk to me. And then at some point, there was like a decision that I had to make from my higher self to try to get into this inner work that they call it, you know, do the inner work, they say, well, what the fuck does that mean, right? So for me, it meant um, trying to just become an, a new person, become who I really am. And I have been working with some of the best people and I will drop a few names. Um, I've been working with Louise Spreckelson. I've been working with Sarah Ashley Wheeler. I've been getting some guidance from Kara Melendi and for my quote today and the reason I'm inspired by this video um, to make this video about this is Melanie Ann Lair. And once I started learning that the projections of your twin flames rejection in your outside world stems from what's really inside of you, I was like, okay, I'm getting to work. I'm going to fucking get to work. I'm not going to be this abandoned girl forever, you know? And so I got to work and basically it's my life. My life purpose at the moment is the healing. Um, I do feel like I'm finally almost at a real cutoff point to where I'm going to be where I need to be. But like something that Melanie said to me today, not just me, she said it in her um, energetics and emotions um, mass. It was a program for manifesting. And we learn a lot about feminine and masculine energy, the ebb and flow of doing versus being and this all really ties in with the twin flame healing journey also. So it was really, really profound to me. And I want to share a quote and I hope I wrote it down perfectly. Um, but I think for a lot of us divine feminines who really are just sitting at home, doing our work, being completely loyal to our twin flames, um, a lot of people really question that. And they're like, well, why don't you just go date someone else? Oh, why don't you just go do something else? And it's like, well, doing the thing that your soul 
isn't meant to do is just a distraction. It's just pure amusement. It's not really serving a purpose, you know? And Melanie on her call today, she spoke about how um, her and her fiance, Kevin, they had been engaged for, um, I think it was a year or maybe it was two, but they had this date planned. Um, 10 10 2020 was going to be their wedding date this upcoming year and because of covid and everything else um the plans um to have their beautiful wedding ceremony with their family and friends there it can't happen and so she was very um you know, she was open about sharing the sadness, the disappointment um, of not getting to have her her dream wedding day and her dream wedding, and and it didn't it didn't take away from the fact that she knew she was going to be his wife. It's just that now this date isn't working um, with the circumstances, and this quote is so profound it like really shook me because i'm like thank you for acknowledging this you know um because a lot of people had suggested well why not just go sign the paperwork and be married and then have a ceremony later or stuff like that or oh improvise or whatever and she was very firm like no she's like that's not what's going to fill my heart and soul with love. She's like, she wants her family to be there and her important people, like everybody with her as a amazing celebration, you know? And I think a lot of the us divine feminines um, in the twin flame journey know this feeling. And so here's the quote. I hope I wrote it all down. This is Melanie's quote. I do not need to do something that is not exactly what I want just to pacify my pain. Because I know how to walk with my sadness. Mind blown, right? Because... I sit here and I do my work. I don't need to go just hang around with someone who doesn't mean shit to me just because I'm looking to fill a void. You know what I mean? Like, if it's not going to be exactly what I'm wanting, I don't have to. If I'm starving and I'm like, this is another great thing for vegans too. Like, I'm vegan. If I'm hungry and I know that it's going to take me 45 minutes to make my vegan food, but I'm hungry right now, I could go and get some shit, some fast food shit, you know, just to fill me up, fill that void. No, that's not what we do. That's not what we do. So I will say this again because it was just so profound to me. I do not need to do something that is not exactly what I want just to pacify my pain. Because the strength is being able to walk with your sadness. And I really love how she was kind of speaking to us about The fact that you are filled with so much sadness, like, you can also be joyful too. And that was like a really big shift to me because it's like, you know, I do have a lot of things that I enjoy doing. I do have a lot of um, hobbies and stuff that I do enjoy, but nothing's going to take that sadness like this pain um until i've gotten to the absolute root bottom of this inner child healing and 
wounding that I clearly still have a little of. But, you know, I can go frolic in a sunflower field and I can be happy that I'm there, but yet I can also feel so incredibly broken and shattered that the guy I love isn't with me while we're doing it. I can be both. And I think that just the fact that like Melanie validated that for me is huge. Like I'm allowed to be both. I'm allowed to be both joyful and broken. Because until the day that I am united with my love, there's always going to be that. There's always going to be that, like, immense feeling. And I, I get it. Not <laughs> You can compare this to anything in your life. Um, if you're not a twin flame, you just don't have a clue. So, like, we don't really want to hear anything from you about, oh, just go hang out with someone else. <laughs> shut up <laughs> so um before i get off of this video i did want to speak about one more analogy that i thought was just such a freaking wise nugget of Im information and inspiration um about how most people would say when you're when you're this when you're this woman when you're this girl that you're kind of like an egg you know you kind of have this hard shell and inside of you is this goopy goo and you want to protect that at all costs um and you know the shell isn't really really strong so you just you kind of want to be protected right she she talked about it much better um but you guys get my drift, right? Now, then she blew my mind. She said, no, no, no. What if we're not like the egg? What if we're actually like a peach? You're, you're, you, can, you can show your softness on the outside. You can be sliced open, you can be bruised, you can be cut, you can be everything, but inside your inner, inner core is so fucking strong that nothing will break it. And that just, that's what the inner work is. That's, that's what doing your soul work does. Because at that point where you don't feel that you need to protect your softness, you don't need to protect all of that, that's where you become fearless and unstoppable. And might I add, peaches are quite juicy and delicious. So I think I fit the description very well. And I just want to say a big thank you to Melanie for her guidance, um, as well as everyone else I've worked with. But um, really, really just mind-blowing information in this program. Um, and I tell you, this is... This is something now I'm going to be able to carry with me and realize that, like, okay, I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to speak freely. I'm allowed to feel, I'm allowed to show or, um, you know, portray and, and not pretend like I'm some hard robot or whatever, like, because I know it in my soul, in my core, that I can't be broke. And um, it doesn't matter what you do to that peach on the outside. If you throw it up against the wall and it breaks open, that core inside is not going to be broken. 
So this was a really transformative experience, speaking with Melanie, um, or I mean, listening to Melanie speak. And for all of you who watched this video here, I really hope that, um, you know, you took something away from this. And to all Divine Feminines, I just so very much send you vibes of union. And of course, we all know for union to happen, we have to have our inner union first, the perfect balance of our masculine and feminine energy. So keep, keep doing it, you know, keep doing it. And I'm just really excited to watch how everything falls together. Um, you know, things are happening and I am really excited about it. So all right. Well, thank you for watching my video. Bye.